What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing just a quick video about some of my favorite drugstore products that I absolutely love. They are very affordable um, and for, it's basically, you know, products that are made for people that are just venturing out into makeup, wearing a lot more makeup now, or just want to try out different products without having to spend $40 to $80 per product. So let's just dive right on into my products. So my absolute fave product of them all is my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. I am in the shade 355, which is coconut. I absolutely love this foundation. This foundation is very buildable. You can go from light coverage to buildable coverage. It is very, very good. Um, I have no problems out of this foundation. It is for normal to oily skin. I am kind of in between. I have, you know, the T-zone areas that get a little oily. Um, this product usually helps with that. It's very, very good. Compared to the other products I've used, like the Stila Foundation, I absolutely love this one more. And the Stila Foundation, it ran me about $50, and this one only ran me about $5 at Walmart. And like every other Sunday, they usually have coupons um, in the Sunday paper for $2 off of Maybelline. And you basically can get this for like $3 from Walmart, or if you go to Walgreens, it runs from like $7 to $8. And they usually have buy one, get one 50% off. So I usually stock up on it when they're on sale. So you guys, should, I recommend that you absolutely give this a try. I haven't tried the uh, airbrush, the foam foundation by them, but I absolutely want to. I've been using this foundation for about two years now, and it is absolutely amazing. Along with my foundation, um, I do use concealers. Um, basically, I'm on the bandwagon with everybody else in the concealers, uh, the LA Girl Pro Concealers. Um, basically, the concealer that I use, I use the Orange Corrector Concealer by LA Girl. This works absolutely amazing for any dark spots that you have, um, any color correcting that you want to do before you put on your foundation. It is absolutely amazing, and it doesn't make you look too orangey. Um, and then I use the Chestnut Foundation, well, the Chestnut Concealer by LA Girl. I use that to outline my brows whenever I do my brows, and it helps to give it a good a good definition shape. Um, I use the chestnut color because it is the closest to my skin tone without it being too dark or making my eyebrows look overpowering. To do my highlight and conceal, I usually switch in between different colors. I would use my absolute favorite, which is Fawn. I use this as my under eye concealing and the T-zone uh, pyramid and right in your cupids bow. This is what I use to highlight. I'll use Fawn. Some days I'll use Cool Tan. And um, I think the other one, I don't have it because this is too far on. I think the other one is like Tawny or something. It depends on like how, how much of a highlight you're trying to give yourself. But usually on an everyday basis, I'll use Fawn. And each of these LA Girl um, Pro Concealers, you can order them offline or find them at your local beauty supply store. I get mine, I think, for like $1.99 or $2.99 each. They are very affordable. And they come in different shades. It's like 20 different shades, so you can't beat that. Now, as far as my eyebrows go, I use the e.l.f. eyebrow dip. And this is amazing. This is actually in black. I had the black and the brown. The one that I have left right now is the black. Some people don't like using the black because they say it is too dark. But I believe that you could use the black if you actually know how to conceal around it and blend it out. It's absolutely amazing. I believe this one cost me like $3.99 from Walmart. So this is very affordable compared to the um, Anastasia Dip Brow. I think it's like $20 something dollars. Um, this is very, very affordable and it lasts a long time because you don't use a lot of it. You basically just dip it. I've had this one almost this whole year and this is how much. I don't know if you guys can see it because it is black, but this is how much I have left. It's literally half a container. So that's very good. Um, my next product is the Pond's Dark Spot Correcting Cream. And I got this from Walgreens. Um, I think I paid like $3.99 for this small jar. And I use this under my eyes and also like around my cheeks sometimes when you get acne or you break out with dark spots. I put this on there at night and I also put it on before I do my makeup and it really really helps to correct any dark spots that you have. I absolutely recommend this product to anybody that is suffering from dark spots anywhere. Um, this is absolutely amazing and they also have a moisturizing cream that I follow up with on my whole face that is absolutely amazing as well. As far as my lips go, 
I mean, I'm not going to recommend any lip gloss or lip stains or lipsticks, but as far as um, lip oils go to help keep your lips to be moisturized up under the lip colors that you put on, I recommend the Aquafina Hydrating Lip Oil. This stuff right here is absolutely amazing, you guys. I paid $1.99 for this. I got this actually from Dollar General. This is amazing. Like, you guys, it is amazing. It is an oil. Um, it's basically an oil. It just glides on so easy. It has a little squeeze top. And it is just amazing. You got to be careful because it will run out. But it is just amazing. And it just glides on so easy. And my lips basically stay hydrated all day. Like, I absolutely love it. And it gives it a little sheen. So, if underneath any lipstick or something you put on your lips are super you know how sometimes lipstick can make your lips look dry i put this up underneath all of my lipsticks and my lipsticks be popping like when i tell y'all it be popping it be popping i love this stuff um along with my foundation you know all of us love powders so um i do have like three different powders well three different brand powders that i use right now the first one is my elf which I basically started using this before I started using any other powders because I wasn't going to pay like $30 and $40 for powder and it was my first time wearing makeup. So I bought this and I absolutely ended up loving it. Now I don't know what happened. Does anybody know what happened to the banana powder that is made by e.l.f.? Because I cannot find it anymore. I used to have that one. That, uh, I used to have that one. This one is a translucent powder. I use this to basically seal my eyebrows instead of having that big yellow highlight over your eyebrows. I use this because it's closer to your skin tone and it doesn't give that much of a highlight up under. Uh, that it doesn't give that much of a highlight that overshadows the highlight that you do under your brow. So I absolutely love the translucent powder by e.l.f. to do that. But if anybody knows whatever happened to the e.l.f. banana powder, please let me know. But it is, it is no longer being sold in stores, and I don't know why, and I absolutely, absolutely miss it. But this one is a translucent powder. I think I got this for like $6.99 from Walmart. If you haven't been to Walmart to shop for e.l.f. products, you need to go. Because e.l.f. started out on a little tea stand in Walmart that had the makeup on the front and the back. And now e.l.f. has its own sh two shelves on a makeup aisle with everybody else at Walmart, so you need to go stock up on e.l.f. because it is very affordable and you can get their products starting at a dollar all the way up to, I think, $12. So go stock up on some products. The other powder that I love is my Ben Nye Topaz Powder. I had the Ben Nye Banana Powder, but I am out of it, and I just didn't feel like going to go pay $30 to $40 for another powder, depending on where I found it at. So right now I'm using my Topaz Powder. It's a translucent powder as well by Ben Nye. I absolutely love this. I use this in combination with the banana powder. And in the fall, I actually sometimes use this by itself, not to give myself so much brightness because this will tone down the brightness. Um, I, sometimes I will use it by itself, like I said, in the fall or the winter time when I don't want that much of a highlight due, due to the seasons. But this is absolutely amazing, especially for women of color. Um, because it is very hard to find, you know, um, powders that don't make us look so ghostly. This is absolutely amazing. And I miss my banana powder in this as well. Now, I actually still have a banana powder, but I switch brands um, until I find a banana powder by Ben Nye at a reasonable price. Because for some reason, everybody has upped their price by $10 on their banana powder, and I don't know why. Um, but this banana powder is by Ruby Kisses. And I actually just found this within the last month at my local beauty supply store. I had been looking for it because I went online and I did a little bit of research like other banana powders by different brands. And someone, another YouTuber recommended this and I had been trying to find it. And I searched every beauty supply store until I was driving um, through a different neighborhood and I saw one hid. And I went in there and Lord and behold, they had a whole Ruby Kisses line. So I plan on going back trying the other face powders by Ruby Kisses. But this one is a HD. It says Setting and Forget Setting Powder. 16 hour flawless rub proof wear. Ruby Kisses Banana Powder. I absolutely love this. Um, I've been using it now for about two weeks. It comes in a little cute container. Of course, a little screw top like the other powders. Um, it does get a little bit messy. And the only thing that I don't like about this is the how the powder comes out. It has... Let's see if I can pull it up. It has this little uh, clear thing. It looks like a little salt and pepper shaker in the inside. You know where you turn the dial and to turn it to where it sprinkles and then you close it back? That's basically what's in the inside of this. I don't want to turn it upside down to where y'all can see it because it'll spill out. 
but basically it's like the holes they got clogged so i basically have to dig see how messy it gets i basically have to dig out the banana powder to get the amount that i want um but i absolutely love the powder on it doesn't give like a heavy heavy bright highlight but it gives you just enough to perfect for pictures so you're not too ghostly it's easy to blend out it goes on so smooth and if you have uh, the fan brush or the powder brush it just brushes off so smoothly it is absolutely amazing and next i have my makeup mist and set spray made by elf of course, you can find this at Walmart, um, Target, Walgreens, anywhere that sells L. I believe I paid five or six ninety nine for this, and it is just a little. Uh, I'm trying to see what two ounce, two fluid ounce container. I am almost out of this. Um, it is it is refillable. That's the thing that I love about this. Um, even though they don't sell the refill containers, but you can always keep this container to put like um, rose water or something in. I absolutely love this. Um, the other containers that you, I usually get with the mist and set, they are locked containers, so you can't really refill them. So I absolutely love this because I can always use this pump for something else. And I love some fact that it's black. I like black containers, y'all. Y'all already know that I love black. I wear black shirts. Like I have like 30 different black shirts. I don't know why. I just love black things. But this is absolutely amazing. It does help my makeup to stay on all day and I put this on like right after my foundation and it helps to refresh my face instead of my face looking pale from all the makeup that I applied. This is absolutely amazing. Um, I absolutely love it. I've tried other makeup mists and they work um, just about the same but this one for some reason makes me feel like extra hydrated. Um, if you guys have tried other makeup mist and sprays that you love or if you tried this one, let me know down below or if you recommend a different one, I want to try it. Try it. So what's the name down below? Someone told me to try um, Model in a Bottle or something like that. So I am going to try and review that one next. But I absolutely love this. Now the last product that I am reviewing, you guys, this is not a drugstore product. You do have to buy this offline. But it is very affordable compared to the other things that people spend money on. Um, and the product that this is, this is just the Unique 3D Lash Fibers. You guys, these things are amazing. Let me tell you. Now, the product, it will cost you about $24, $25. But you guys don't freak out because you got to think, like, when people go get their eyebrows done, you guys, y'all spend, like, starting at $25 and up every trip that y'all go. And some people get their eyebrows done. Like, I mean, some people get their eyelashes done, like, every week or every week and a half or every two weeks. Like, have y'all guys ever added up how much y'all spend getting your eyelashes done? Like, it's a lot. But y'all complain about women that go by week once every six, once every three to six months for like $300. But y'all spend, like, add up how many times you go get your eyelashes done. It's, it's a lot. It's crazy. This right here, you won't ever have to get your eyelashes done again. Let me tell y'all. This is just a natural fiber that you put on your eyelashes. It's basically just like mascara. Instead of you going to go spend money to get your eyelashes done and they be looking too heavy or you looking like them stupid eyelashes people put on their cars and they all the way out here and looking heavy and then y'all got the nerve to be dazzle them. Like, don't do that. These are absolutely amazing. All it is is two mascara tubes. One is clear. You put it on. Put the lash fibers on to attach to the clear gel that you just put on. Seal it back with the clear gel. You can build this up to how thick you want your lashes to be, you guys, and it will not go overboard. Let me tell you, you can build this up to ever, however thick you want it to be, and you will not look like your eyelashes will not be unbelievable. Like, I'm telling you guys, this stuff is absolutely amazing. It is by Unique, you guys. Go on the website, order you some of this stuff, and stop spending 25 and up to get your eyelashes done, you guys. Because first time I got my eyelashes done, y'all... Them things was heavy. I don't understand how you girls, uh, how you girls can wear them because my eyes was heavy, and I was like, "Do y'all like my lashes?" Like y'all, they was absolutely heavy. I didn't know what to do. I was ripping them things off. Like that's how bad like I felt. And then I wear contacts too, so I was sitting there like, "I think I got hair in my eye," and it was from where the eyelashes was curling down. And I don't use those curlers because I'm scared I'm gonna stick myself in the eye. So it was so irritating. This right here, I even forget that it's on my eye. Like, I don't feel nothing. You feel nothing. It just feels like your normal eyelashes. For real, y'all. Like, y'all need to try these. Like, for real.
But anyways, you guys, that is the products that I have. Um, if you guys have any videos about products that you absolutely love, put your links down below so that I can find your um, video and watch it and go out and try some of the products that you guys love. If you guys have tried any of the products that are listed in my video, let me know how you feel about them or some products that you guys recommend that I go try. Um, usually, you know, I'm shopping at Walmart, Target, Walgreens just to see what products I can try. So if you guys know some good products that are in there, let me know um, and I'll be sure to check them out. You guys don't forget to thumbs up this video, like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.